A film that bombed at the box office is on the mind of our resident film critic. In today's Movie and Money segment, Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association, is back with us. And Eric, let's talk about mm -hmm. The Three Musketeers. Yes, let's do that. And not so good. <laughs> no, it's an actually a really horrible movie and uh, did not do uh, as, you know even as well as we thought it might do last week. What went wrong? Uh, you know, I mean, marketing is it's all about awareness, and you know, I mean, people, you know, were aware that this movie was coming out. It was being advertised on television shows, but who wanted to see another Three Musketeers movie, especially one that didn't have any star power to it? It just, you know, it was another 3D movie. It's just like who basically cared? So no one went to see it. And from a bomb to the best. Mm -hmm. Paranormal 3 coming in with big numbers at the box office. Yeah, the biggest October opening of all time. Broke the record set last year by Jackass 3D. But still, $52 million. It actually did open greater than the sequel, Paranormal Activity 2. And it's very possible that this is going to be the most successful film in the franchise to date. And among the other numbers, Real Steel mm -hmm. still has some numbers coming in. They came in at 10.8 million, and Footloose still hanging on. <laughs> you love the 10. Footloose. 10.4 million. <laughs> I love the Footloose. Yeah. Well, Real Steel, we, we speculated, might end up getting to like $100 million. Right now, it's probably coming in probably around $90 million. It's starting to fade a little bit at the box office. Um, and it's probably not going to help so much that uh, the st same studio that released it uh, moved up Puss in Boots a week on the schedule that's going to be opening this weekend. All right, now Puss in Boots coming out, you're big on that, and this was a mm -hmm. movie that was born out of the Shrek series. Yeah, Puss in Boots made his first appearance in the Shrek series in the in the first sequel, Shrek 2. Uh, certainly been one of the more delightful characters in the series, which has kind of faded uh, with the sequels. And I think that this one is actually going to be pretty big at the box office. It's probably going to open to maybe high 40s, maybe even low 50s, and it's certainly going to do probably upwards of over $150 million wow. eventually. In time, also coming out again with Justin Timberlake. Yeah, He's back I mean, the silver screen. he had a lot, nice little hit with Friends, and Bene Friends with Benefits over the summer, opened to 15, did about 60 million. This movie is a science fiction movie. It's basically one giant metaphor in search of a, an idea. And uh, I think it's only going to open probably with around seven, eight million dollars tops. And Johnny Depp comes out with The Rum Diary. Yeah, based on the uh, Hunter Thompson novel, Johnny Depp's kind of doing his Hunter Thompson thing again from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, it's really being advertised as sort of a wacky Johnny Depp comedy, but it's really not like that at all. I think people, the people who do show up are going to be disappointed. I imagine it's probably going to only do around five or six million this weekend. Your money's on Puss in Boots. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very much. Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association. Thank you.